Wow. Praise God. <laughs> Are you guys praying with us this morning? Okay, the enemy... The enemy is <laughs> messing with our broadcast everywhere this morning, okay? Wow. And it might be the internet connection, babe. Yeah. Hallelujah. Our, it might be our internet connection. We're not quite sure. But we're waiting on the Lord this morning, waiting on His power and glory. Oh, hallelujah. There was such an anointing that was released of fire. The fire anointing of God released. Wow. Hallelujah. It's more fire. There's more fire here. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Just receive this anointing of the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, my live star friends, my Periscope friends, thank you for hanging in there with us this morning. Our live me always, we love you, my live me, praise God. And our Facebook family on the Prophets Teaching Group, praise God, hallelujah. And our live stream this morning, praise God. Thank you, Jesus, praise God. Thank you, Lord, praise God. Oh, you promised to provide. You promised to provide, oh Lord. We wait on you. Praise God. Oh, interesting morning this Monday morning. But we're going to keep on going in the Lord. Praise God. We're going to keep on, keep on keeping on. The new anointing for a new generation, the seer anointing. God is increasing this anointing. Praise God. You're not going to have to go to psychics anymore. <laughs> Hallelujah. But you can come to the Lord himself, those of you who have these giftings, to use the gifting that God has given you for promoting his kingdom and promoting his glory. It is a seer anointing. A seer means to see, S-E-E-R, to see, to see into the spirit realm. Oh, Hallelujah. And to bring that information that you're seeing into the spirit realm, back into the natural realm, for the edification of the body, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, that we all come to a perfect man. And these gifts are all about Jesus, about leading you to a closer relationship with Jesus, and to about leading other people into a relationship with him. That's what they're all about. And so God is increasing your sight, increasing your insight, you know, into his world, into his plans. And into the decisions that he's made for you and for the body of Christ. And he's given you a portion of his anointing and glory to go forth, to go forth, hallelujah, to a lost and dying world and to bring his glory and his peace to that world. Hallelujah. Now this anointing, the seer anointing, praise God, is a supernatural anointing. It is supernatural. It's a supernatural enablement of grace. The manifested presence of his glory operating upon you, in you, through you, and by you more specifically in dreams. As we learned earlier that he came to Solomon in a dream and imparted unto Solomon a spiritual gift in a dream. Not only did he impart into Solomon the gifting of wisdom, revelation, and knowledge, he had a conversation with Solomon in his dream. Hallelujah. Praise God. And so every dreamer and visionary has a marked sphere of authority, of influence. And God does not give you these gifts in a vacuum. You don't just have the gift for nothing. You're just not able to see into the spirit realm for no reason. Oh. God has not given you this gift in a void, okay? Just so that you can say, oh, I had a dream. No. And the purpose is to bring together his people, to bring together his body, to cause his body to be even more perfected in him. As he's given us the instruction Jesus has to be perfect, even as the Father in heaven is perfect. 
Praise God. And so in the gifting that he's given you, he's given you a place for that, an assignment for that gift. As Solomon was brought forth the gifts in a dream of wisdom, his assignment was to be the best king that he could and to govern the people. And it, because he didn't ask for riches, he didn't ask, you know, uh, for his enemies to be killed, God did all of that for him. But that was Solomon's particular situation. Your situation may be a little bit different than Solomon's, okay? But the point is that God has given the gift. He is the giver of the gift. He is giver, He's the giver of the opening, hallelujah, of the assignment of accuracy in your seer gift, okay, of keen awareness in the seer gift of who he is, of his kingdom, okay? And so he wants you to see more and he, so that you can be able to do more for him. He's stirring up this grace and this glory in you even more so. Building you up in your most holy faith. Building you up in your most holy faith so that this grace and anointing can come forth in Jesus' name. We're going to talk a little bit about Jacob today, but I think we're going to get to Jacob tomorrow. But remember that in this week we are going to be doing interpretations of dreams. I'm going to be talking to you about those dreams, how to interpret them. And also, too, last week we talked about some of the ways that you can know, that know that you know that you know that what you have has come from God. Do you think that when Solomon woke up in 1 Kings 3 after that dream with God, do you think that there was any question of who was talking to him in that dream? Do you think he was afraid? Do you think he was fearful? Do you think he was confused over the voice that he heard? <laughs> Do you think he was perplexed about it? No, he just went on his way and he started being king, you know, started being wise immediately. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so as we move all of the junk out of the way, all of the flesh out of the way, all the soulless dreams out of the way, all the evil dreams out of the way, okay, praise God, and understanding how to discern, you know, God's dream from, you, you know, something coming from your soul and something coming from the enemy, you know, once you grab hold to that um, confidence that it is God, you'll be able to walk in it in power and in authority, in authority and in anointing. Okay? Praise God. So tomorrow, as we've talked about dreams today, tomorrow, and there's so much more, so many more, you know, the dreams are in the scriptures from, from Genesis all the way through. God dealt with men and women in dreams. You know, a lot, a lot of people he dealt with in dreams who were non-believers. Oh, hallelujah. And that's what we're calling on. That there are non-believing leaders, you know, in the world. And that just as God gave Nebuchadnezzar a dream that only Daniel could interpret. Oh, hallelujah. That as God gave Pharaoh a dream that only Joseph could interpret. That God will start bringing these kinds of dreams and making a place for you, opening a door for you to go in and to give an interpretation and to bring the glory of God. Daniel was one that when he went into Nebuchadnezzar, he let Nebuchadnezzar know, yes, I can do all these things, but it's not through me that I'm doing it. It is through God. He is the giver of the interpretation. He gives the dream and he's the one that reveals secrets. Okay? And so as Daniel went forth, he preached God. He, he was preaching to the king. And that's what we want. We want the anointing now to go into places and in high places in the high call of God that he's bringing with this new seer anointing, this new era of the seer. We want to go into the high places in this world and bring forth the glory of God, the truth of God, the power of God. God is the one that reveals secrets. Hallelujah. As Daniel said. And so the gifting that we have is not in and of ourselves, but it is the gift that God has given us to use to bring his power, his truth, and his word in the earth. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. And so it is, what we're going to do today is we're going to have the apostle come on and pray us out. Praise God. And I think that with the anointing that went forth, you get the, get the replay. And receive that anointing. If you've joined us late, you know the, um, you know the, um, the phone went out. This is the latest and greatest phone. It's supposed to be the best. Hallelujah! And it's not containing the anointing. The uh, the the uh, streaming is not containing the fire anointing, the fire power of God. And so we're going to have to look into changing this phone and getting a better one, if there is a better one out. 
So I'm on the uh, the Samsung 8 Plus. <laughs> uh uh, no, we're gonna have to do better than that. It might even be the iPhone, and I was swearing against the uh, iPhone, but because I like the uh, I like Android. But if you're going to keep going out under the fire anointing of God, then we're going to have to try something better from God. But also, too, to pray for our airways, to pray for our lines, that this power of God can go through and go forth. Oh, hallelujah. There's more anointing that God is sending out. If you want to grab it, if you want to grab hold to it, we thank you so much for being with us on Periscope, Live Me, Live Stream. Praise God. <laughs> Facebook. Hallelujah. And Live Star. Thank you so much. Praise God. And so God thanks you as well. This anointing that you received today, this impartation that you received today, hallelujah, go with it. Oh, go with it. Go in the glory. Go in the glory of God. Hallelujah. They're still pulling out more anointing. Just leave that. There's no internet connection over there. Praise God. Mm. Hallelujah. Just let's listen to that song. Turn it up just a little bit more. And we'll... Is there anything more? that you would like, hallelujah. Yeah. 